here we are today at Little Shaw Abbey. It's absolutely amazing. The views are phenomenal and it's very strange. Hopefully it's going to be very active. But either way, even if it's not active, it's a stunning place to just come and investigate regardless of any activity or not. So I think we'll be in for a great night tonight. First time here within Shaw Abbey myself. Looking at the place, it looks quite grand and you know the history is steeped in it so I'm looking forward to see if we can find out when it was destroyed in the Civil War so what remains you can find and what history we can find out more. When I first got here I thought it was absolutely beautiful for a building that's over 800 years old and to be so intact is incredible. I feel I feel like there's something but I can't quite figure out what it is yet but I'd like to see if anything pops up during the night to say hello. Lillishall Abbey was founded in 1148 for Augustine monks. They were known as the black monks because of the habits that they used to wear. They worked largely in the local community supporting the parish as well as carrying out prayers in this building. The founding community at Lillishall Abbey was made up of 13 canons. It was their job to run the abbey and look after the local parish. It was also supported around the outside of the abbey by villagers that made their home here and they were supported by the gardeners that grew and the monks that made charitable donations to keep them well. By the 13th century, Lillishall Abbey had become really, really big. It was a massive abbey in the area. It had a lot of prestige and a lot of money behind it. They were big landowners. They had a bridge down the road that they took 
tolls from. There were two water mills that they ran, and they ran a lot of local farmland. Not only was the farmland used to feed the cannons that were here and the population that supported them, but they sold food on to local abbeys down the road. White Ladies Priory would buy the food from here. Again, it would be a big return for this place. During the 14th century, Lillishill had a lot of financial problems going on. They were selling pensions to the local people, and the abbey just couldn't keep it up. One of the local canons here was accused of that and had to leave. By the end of this time, this abbey had shrunk down to about 10 canons living here. In 1538, the abbey was suppressed in the dissolution of the monasteries and sold on as a private house. In 1539, the abbey was sold to a family in Wolverhampton who lived in the house and lived here until the 17th century. During the Civil War of 1642, Little Shell Abbey was fortified by the king and was used as a stronghold. There was a siege here, troops were based outside for two weeks. After two weeks they finally broke into this building and destroyed it to the ruin that we see today. Not long after that, Little Shell Abbey was abandoned and left in the state that we now find it. Little Shell Abbey is now looked after by the local English heritage. It's visited by many, many people and ghost stories and history are rife in this place. Ghost stories surrounding Lillishill Abbey are endless. People have reported seeing a mist coming down this very area. A strange figure has been seen just behind us. One man, when visiting Lillishill Abbey, reported he came across a spirit he can only describe as death himself. That man never ever returned. Many people believe that the monks that used to live here still haunt this place, carrying out their daily duties, serving this area. When the building was attacked by parliamentarian troops, many, many people died here. Again, people say the hauntings that surround this building may be from them days. This stairwell is said to be one of the most haunted places in the Little Shell Abbey. A hand is said to reach through this window behind me and grab unsuspecting visitors. Another person who visited the Abbey claims to have a photograph of a spirit set on these stairs, the spirit of a young girl that was said to have died here many, many years ago. I downloaded some music here. Uh, Augustine Monks, mate. You watch everyone on radio, anyway. I really hope that was a duck, mate. <laughs> Very weird feel to it, this place. Yeah, Sean said that, but I'm not. And normally I'm not, but I am. No, I'm hoping that was on here. Yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> you don't need to hear that again. Went from not feeling it to chums down my spine and. <laughs> What we're going to do is uh, set up a trail cam just on this corner. Um, it's motion activated and sound activated. 
to cover anything that comes in or out of the cloister and the far tower over there. Uh, there has been numerous sightings of a monk coming in and out of this location. So hopefully we will catch something on the trail cam. So I'm using the torch to make sure that I've got the trail cam set to the angle I want it to aim at. So, so that's not far enough over. I want it there. Just entering the tower. Uh, I'm happy to go up. Are you happy to go up, Alison? I don't know. Why, why don't you want to go up? I don't like the stairs. You don't like the stairs? <laughs> They're too narrow. Okie dokie. Alright, you stay down there and just let us know if you feel anything or anything. As Sue and Ali prepare the dictaphone, the camera audio picks up a strange whisper. Having listened to it a few times, I think it says, I've had enough. What do you think? Is there anyone here with us tonight? Would like to come forward and make yourself known? Um, my name is James. Susan is at the top of the landing. Alison is at the bottom. Uh, you have my permission to use my energy if you wish. We don't mean you any harm whatsoever. All we want to do is communicate, talk. Um, yeah, just want to hear if you want to say anything. You have permission to use my energy if you wish. Uh, just come forward and touch one of us, make a sound. We are getting camera issues of uh, severe battery loss and also a recently formatted um, SD card is now full for some reason. And we've taken 10 minutes of camera footage so right, if there's anyone here with us tonight come forward please. We honestly mean you no disrespect whatsoever. All we want to do is just chat, have a talk. If you could come forward and just answer some questions for us, if, if you would mind. If you're affecting this camera, if you're taking this camera's um, power. power in order to give yourself some energy, please show us. Please show us what you can do with that energy. Make this green light flash on this device here. Or make more light flash. If you could let us hear your footsteps again. Are you able to touch one of us? Or tap on the wall or do anything to show us that you're here? That you wish to communicate with us? Like pop rocks. Is it red? Is it red? Is it red? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but it's very, very lightly raining. You didn't hear it, didn't you? Yeah, a bit. Like pop rocks, but yeah. it just opens the mouth. Well, I could hear like little. Mm. It was a bit like a, like a, like, not like a crisp packet rustling, but yeah, I could hear the little popping noises. To be honest, I thought it was Alison. No. <laughs> Sorry, Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So for the record, it has been raining tonight, um, on and off. Some of it's been quite heavy. It's currently very lightly raining. Um, it's a very fine sort of drizzle. 
um, no big heavy blobs of rain currently. Please come and speak to us. We mean you no harm. We keep hearing your feet. Come and say hello. Or make noise if you don't want us here. If we want to be left in peace. That's fine. We may have to go back and get the power bank for this anyway. Yeah. So we can maybe move to somewhere else. See if we can try somewhere else. Use the other battery well. That one's on charge. Um. Rich, I've just seen somebody walk through there. What? Through here. And it definitely wasn't a someone, it was a something because it was white. Uh, it went through here. A white figure, humanite, came out of there and walked straight across and disappeared down there. Right, if you think in 1993, where you are still down, I was sat just behind you, and that's where I saw my first ghost. Going from right to left. Straight across there. Yeah, towards the little. Yeah. That's where I saw my first ghost, mate. But it wasn't, it wasn't how they described the monk, it wasn't black, it wasn't, it was white and it was like a mist and it was like stereotypical, how you'd think a ghost would be. Like, pale white. It's over there. Yeah. From like where the sign is, yeah. straight away across. Across there. So you saw it walking over there. Yeah. Walked. It came from here and walked straight in a straight line. And it would have been walking straight towards the door. And the lost side, it says it went past here. What was it, like a white mist? Yeah, um, it's like a, not really a human figure, just a, a white strip of light but moving, you know, sort of, as if it was walking. But it had no, no real form to it. But it was just a, a white, misty light. I think it might have been something to do with the music we were playing. It's possible, because it was, like, straight afterwards. Let me just whack an IR light over there and try and flood that area there with light if I can. I don't think I'm going to be able to, but... Worth a crack in it. Okay, so we are going to go into this creepy little room. That creeps on this and out. So, this should be fun. Uh, which corner do you like the least? Because you're standing in it. <laughs> no, it's not standing in it. It's when I was walking past to take photos. It was probably somebody standing here, so I got me. Well, maybe there is. Is anybody in here with us? Would you like to make that light on the floor flash? Oh, hang on. Is that your move? It's what, what move? The, the K2. K2. I don't know, actually. No. Yeah. Thank you. Do you like this song better than the other one? Can you flash it if so? Maybe when it was because when I was flashing. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> well, it hasn't gone off, but I've just taken another photo. If you're happy for us to carry on playing this music, will you make those lights flash again, please? 
If you would like us to stop playing the music, would you make the lights flash please? Or make a noise, if that's too alternative to make it flash. I'm not sure the tapping would make more energy. This little machine here with the round orange flashing light on it, that captures your voice. Uh, so if you want to speak into it, you are more than welcome. Actually, we would like you to. If you need energy and you want to take it from someone, by all means you can take it from me. You have my permission. Feel free to take my energy. Alison's obviously keeping her energy for herself. No, you can take it if you want. She's young, she's got plenty. You say that. <laughs> <laughs> like you're not possessed by the ghost of an 80 year old woman exactly. anyway. Would you like to come and say hello to us? We don't mean you any harm. If you could make the lights light up again, please. What was your job when you were here? Did you have a job or were you just among. visiting or <laughs> among? Isn't that technically a job? It's a vocation, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Or a vacation. I couldn't be a monk. Well, no, you're a girl. You'd have to be a nun. I definitely could not be a nun. <laughs> oh, were you a nun? I'll try to skip Would you like to show your face at the window? I swear oh, to God, if somebody pokes their face round there, now I'm going to shit my pants. You're one of us. I know. Would you like to come and look in the window at us? Or come through the doorway? If you don't like the With no more activity from the K2 meter, Sue, Jim and Ali decided to head back to base for a long-deserved copper. Oh, Jeez, Dan. I heard something around there, but here you. Yeah, I'd, you, if you when you play this footage back, mate, you'll see me flip round there quick. I've just seen someone stood there. I've just seen a figure stood at that corner there. Dark figure. No, but I heard something earlier, mate, that I thought it was up there, and I turned around there quick. When I think it's when you first started playing the music, I heard something in this up here. Up there. So I've said, turn the camera, but this camera doesn't then reach around to that back wall. So that's where me and Dan were when we first played it. Let's go up here a bit and try it again then. Yes. Hmm? What's up? Just did footsteps. What was that then? 
That was more than rustling. There's nothing else rustling. <laughs> I get round here. The fucking Jeremy Beadle jumps out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually that convinced of somebody here I'm going to put the proper torch on. Sorry if this is a rubbish camera. Look at <clears throat> like I say, when you, when you see the playbacks on this, you'll see me turning round where I... Where you were, okay. you? <laughs> Proper little boy excited feel. I'm going to move this camera down here. What's that there? Yeah. One of the things I've been told. What's that? Who's down there? Nobody. Did you not hear that? Then? No, what? If that was anybody here to do with the Abbey, can you can you make that noise again? Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that sounded like it come from down there. That was a hello. Hello. I thought that come from down there. I thought he heard it before down there as well. If that was you, can you do it again? If that's you from the Abbey, can you make a call of them? <clears throat> when you first started playing that music, mate, this is where I hear the noise is coming from. Okay. Yeah, and it's just, I'm just thinking now, you're saying you can hear stuff around the back here, yeah? I'm saying I can hear it in here, so there's something around this area, isn't there? You know when there's that much going on that you have to ask what is going on? Yeah. Well, what Dan's saying he's heard tonight is what I saw in 1993. He's described exactly what happened to me. And it's really weird. Normally, I, d I don't get scared. And I'm not scared, I'm not going down that route, but normally I don't get scared with, uh, scared with ghost hunting and stuff like that. But tonight, there's just summit. Just not, doesn't seem right. It's not scared, it's unnerved. Yeah. And it's not unnerved in a good way. Yeah. The kind of feeling we're getting right now, there's a lot going on. Dan has clearly seen something over there to read him. I've seen a black figure. And now we're hearing footsteps and people walking around on the edge of where we are. It's a little bit unnerving right now. Um, good. Over the next few hours, the team continued their investigation. Dan, you've got to feel that, mate. 
And it's like I'm walking into heat. You two are weird. It's, it, it feels as if like, you know, when the, the sun's been shining on the stone all day. Yeah. I've seen how goosey I am. I am absolutely frozen. It's not even slight, it's feel, like a... I can feel the temperature change. Yeah, I can feel the temperature change. But it's the opposite for me, I'm warm. No, I can feel it go colder. Oh, it's 100% cold, right? 100%. These three are experiencing a temperature change. They all say it's colder in this spot. Or I feel completely the opposite. I think it's warmer. I was feeling colder over there. Yeah, it feels as if the heat's coming off. Off the stone. Off the Ooh. What the fuck is that? Smell that really strong smell of pee. I think I'm going to leave it. I think I'm going to leave it. I think I'm going to leave it. I'm going to get a flare. Perfect. I'm going to get a flare. Let's do some around here. Come forward. Build the voice. The round you can talk into. Green light on the floor. Show yourself in the doorway. If you want to. Give us your name. Yeah, you're in. Don't flew. Hi, sir. How you doing, baby? Look, the, the bricks are like 14 points up to 15. Where did get more? Right? So you can actually see the more heat of the there. day. Yeah, but if you look down here, it's getting a lot colder. Down here. Probably oh, yeah, a few or something. Well, what's the temperature over there? Like out in the open towards the tree. For the camera, I'm smoking. Yeah, you definitely saw the goose, uh, goose mm. pimples on me, didn't you? Without question. I was frozen. Mm. That doesn't make sense. Mm. And you all felt it cold, but I felt it straight away going warm. Every time we've been before in the past, we've never had as much activity as we have tonight, which has made it very, very strange. And now it's got to a point where it's actually really eerie, dark and scary. But what a fab night, some great activity. Hope we've caught something on the dipped over as well, what we've had running. So yeah, all in all, great night. Right, well, after my first night at Lower Shore Army, um, what can I say? I've had loads of activity tonight, uh, really enjoyed it. Although, at some point, I probably couldn't feel about myself, to be honest. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't wait to come back. I've, it's probably the most active place I've been to in a long time, um, and I can't wait to come back. The team had a fantastic night investigating Lower Shore Abbey. EVPs, strange noises, temperature changes and even two sightings. So don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of Urban Ghost Stories.